What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike. And this More League Boys basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Mean Lean hasn't seen some round ball in a while, but back in action at the RPP, it's Polly and Milliken in one heck of an opener. Yeah, 2014 opener here is Cameron Morrell and these Jackrabbits try to keep their league streak going against Malik Marchetti and the Mean Old Rams. Well, they're upstart. They want to make something happen this year, and there's no gilding the lily. Let's just get down to this one. No matter who's in the green and gold, they were playing like defending champions from the opening whistle. They've got the 10th longest CIF league winning streak coming into this game. Jordan Dallas playing well in transition. A hard-earned two for Cameron Morrell, who had a team-high 19 for the Jackrabbits. And since Chris Francis' arrival at Milliken, the Rams usually rule the open floor. Not tonight, though. Drew Bugs. Woohoo! To Chris Sullivan, that's nice. Yeah, clearly flight path right there. 12-4 lead for Polly early in this thing. But after a slow start, Malik Marchetti, the USC-bound senior, gets it going. A nice move to the 10. His future head coach, Andy Enfield, in the building. Milliken Spark came off the bench first. Brandon Wilson with a nice little kiss right there off the glass. And then Will, I'll put a little English with it, a kiss off the glass of his own, the and one. But the momentum was short-lived. Dallas to Devin Edmonds. Those two bigs played very well together, combined for 26 points and 12 offensive rebounds. 24-12 poly lead at the end of the first quarter. Malik Marchetti, sensing he wasn't necessarily scoring it well, turning into a distributor, first to Mark Thomas, then the senior with the shot clock right there. I mean, he's going to come out, run the point. He's going to find English. He's doing it all. Big three for Big Willie. It wasn't the biggest three of the quarter, however. They only were able to pull in within eight points because K.J. Fagan with the most casual three-pointer I've ever seen. He had two of them in the quarter. A business cash on Wednesday from K.J. Fagan. The Ram retort a chance in transition with seconds left, and it's going to go just off the rim, J.J. Folks, that's what we in the business call foreshadowing. So at halftime, <laughs> it's a 10-point spread here, 38-28. A capacity crowd on hand. Tip of the cap, Long Beach, for showing up. Poly Athletic Director Rob Shock said he hadn't seen a more league crowd like that this early in the season ever. To the rafters, to the sideline, everyone was there. Jordan Bell, Rashawn Prince, a couple guys who had a hand in that long league winning streak, obviously. Now, go to the third. Milliken with the moves. First, it's Marchetti, and then it's Thomas. P -p -p Put you on the floor, Pua. Hashtag LB Top 10 nominee. Uh, we got a tweet about that one, and uh, they were right. Crowd loved it, but style points do not count on the scoreboard, JJ. No, they don't, and Polly just showed veteran like poise during these quote unquote scramble points that Milliken usually wins. Sullivan. Two for him, two of his 11, six rebounds for him as well. And then the Jackrabbits jumping at all the easy buckets. And the more difficult ones too. Dallas with 15 points and eight rebounds. Milliken needs a momentum changer. There it be. Yeah, uh, Chris Sullivan trying to go Blake Griffin over English right there. Here, Wilson, David Morrell, and one 49-44. The lead starting to shrink as the Rams feel it. A few plays later, man on! Gets poked from behind. English up to Marchetti. Eminem. I am whatever you say I am. He's a game changer, but who can answer that? Cam can. Morell with the spot up three at the buzzer. You just mentioned style points, so with that exchange, Polly actually picks up a point, even though it had seemed like maybe that was Milliken's moment. But then back come the Rams yet again. They just kept charging. Wilson with a three-pointer. And then Marchetti, Eminem, I'm on fire. JJ breaking out all the oldies now, JJ. 28 points, nine rebounds for Marchetti. Polly up one point with a minute left. Morell. Fights out of traffic, off the out at a bounce line to Dallas. Dallas, beautiful pass to Jeff Calhoun. That's a heck of a time for your first bucket of the game. Yeah, nice moment for the senior and one. But the Rams doing a good job extending the game, fouling, calling timeouts. So three point game, 4.1 seconds left. The age old question: Do you foul? Polly, not even really gonna hesitate as they send. Uh, they sent Calhoun, the senior, out to do the dirty work. And as soon as Thomas passes that timeline, Calhoun fouls him before the shot can get up. So, three-point spread. Thomas makes the first, so it's a two-point game. He misses the second. The putback from Puma, no. Again, no. Ball game. Welcome back, basketball. Hey, we sure did miss you, more league hoops. It looks like it's going to be this kind of a wild season. Nice play by the Rams to have the overload on the right side of the key right there to free up Pua. But, man, 72-70 poly final. 
Feels like a lot more than 1-0 and 0-1 and records in league coming out of that one, though. Can't wait for that rematch. Can't wait for the rest of more league boys basketball. And if you're with us and you can't wait, you've got to stay right here because this is your home for everything local sports.